Okay, welcome back. So now let's proceed with fluid dynamics or fluids in motion. So now we're going to study fluids that are moving. Air, wind, so they are moving. So there are different types of uh, types of flow. Okay, there's what we call steady flow. It means that the flow of flow, fluid is constant. The velocity of flow is constant. Doesn't change. There's no turbulent whatever. So uh, the first type of flow is called steady, steady flow. Okay, so the motion of the, the fluid particles are constant, constant velocity. So velocity is constant, okay? Another type of flow is unsteady, not steady. Unsteady flow. In this case, the fluid is now moving at different velocities, some of them faster, slower, etc. So the velocity is not constant. The velocity of the fluid particles is not constant. There's another one. Extreme type of unsteady flow, we call it turbulent, turbulent flow. So in these types of flow, okay, the velocity is changing and direction, whatever, the, the fluid is, you know, in a random tube moving in different direction okay so perhaps we can we can see it in our in our faucet like at some part the faucet is like mm, steady flow steady and here we have starts to be unsteady and then when it hits the bottom part perhaps it's already turbulent turbulent type of flow so perhaps i'll show you uh, the faucet and identify the types of flow there so let let us go to my faucet welcome to my kitchen <laughs> so i have here my faucet let's identify the different types of flow so this is your steady so look at the fluid particles so it's constant constant velocity but you look at here it starts to be the motion is a little bit uh, uh, different velocity already so look at that but here of course at the bottom part it's like unsteady flow okay so that's an unsteady flow already like this one is unsteady and turbulent basically turbulent okay okay so what are the properties of these uh, fluid fluids so you can identify the property as it can either be Compressible or incompressible? Compressible or incompressible. So it means if, if something is compressible, you can you can change the density. Like air. Example of compressible fluid is air or gas. Air is a compressible fluid. So let's say this is your balloon or your ball. You can compress it. The density can change. So look at this. See, I can compress it, right? See, so there is still more spaces. But if you have, if you have a liquid like this is uh, full of water, if you compress it, it will it will bulge out at some point. It will bulge out at some point so you see it's deformed a bit it will bulge out okay that's incompressible so it means the density can, can uh, doesn't change so as you can see there water seems to bulge out at some more you cannot compress water so examples of uh, incompressible nearly incompressible are water so so yeah you can say uh, water bed so water bed I haven't slept in a water bed yet. I don't know how it feels, but yeah, it's if you're going to jump on the water water bed, it will bulge out somewhere. You cannot compress it. Another property of fluids is is it viscous or non-viscous? Viscosity. Viscous and non-viscous property of water. So usually, um, water is usually non-viscous. Typically, non-viscous. Unless you have some particles or impurities, may, may laput, may dumis, it might become viscous already. 
And one common example, so water is usually non-viscous, so water, okay? And for viscous, it means there are friction on the fluid particles as it is moving. So like very common example of viscous fluids are honey, okay? So let's say I put honey here. So look at that, Doing. So it's pretty viscous, right? pretty viscous it doesn't flow easily okay so it doesn't flow easily look at this it doesn't flow easily see okay so that's your an example of where mm -hmm. honey is delicious mm. <laughs> okay so let me pause the video and <clears throat> finish this honey it's delicious guys okay <laughs> i finished the honey it's really good lecker so yeah, an example of viscous fluids are your honey. Okay, so an ideal of fluid is something that is incompressible, meaning the density doesn't change, and non-viscous. Hindi malapot, okay? So there's no friction, so it just freely flows. Okay, and... Uh, you can actually consider water as nearly incompressible and nearly almost non-viscous. But it's an assumption. Okay? So I hope you've learned something today about fluid properties and uh, the different types of flow. In the next video, I will discuss on the different principles in fluid dynamics or fluids in motion. See you in the next video.